Hi guys, my name is Priel. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about my mindful morning routines and telling you guys about some of the things that I have done to completely change my life around. I am so much happier, so much healthier, more confident, everything. I feel so good about myself, about my life. And I want you guys to feel the same. So to get started with the video, I just want to thank the sponsor, which is Built Bar. So these are the protein bars that I've been absolutely loving lately. I like to just stick them in my bag, take them on hikes, or um, if I don't have time for a full meal, I just eat one of these. And they're great. They're high in protein, low in calories. They also have 18 different flavors, so there's so many different ones to choose from. I really like this one. This is the double dark chocolate, and I've also been liking this cookies and cream one. So yeah, these are great, I highly suggest. And if you're interested, there'll be a link in my description to shop. I started this routine. I've done trial and error and I found a routine that works for me. And I started doing this um, back in January and now I just, I like live by it. I can't, if I miss a couple of days, I feel so different because it's just helped me so much. So a little backstory, a little backstory. I started working out and doing yoga a year ago. Before that, I was never really, taking care of myself, never taking care of my body, my mind, never focusing on myself and doing that internal work. And now that I've been actively working on my self-care, working on improving my mind, my body, I am a completely different person. I feel so good. I used to have so many aches and pains and always be complaining about something. And I have felt so good this whole year. I haven't gotten sick or anything, knock on wood. But honestly, I want you guys to feel the same way I do because it's completely changed my life around. I'll do like a series of these because I feel like there's a lot more to it than um, what I'm going to talk about today. But this is all your, this is all a personal journey. Um, what works for me might not work for you, but it's, um, it doesn't hurt to try. It really doesn't. And if it's for your mind and your body, I think you should try it. <laughs> Having a routine is so crucial for me and I think a lot of people because it sets you up for success. You're able to be more productive and it just allows the day to go, day go by more fluidly. So when I wake up, I don't use my phone. I think that is really crucial. I started a couple mornings using my phone, phone and I've noticed and people around me have noticed that I'm way more irritable, more agitated um, the days I start my with my phone. So. I try not to use my phone the first hour of the day. I'll look at my phone just for the time, but I don't actually open, open my phone and go through my notifications. Um, I actually put my phone on do not disturb at night. And then I'll come back to my room and I'll meditate, or sometimes I just wake up and I meditate, but I try to meditate every morning. Um, even five, 10 minutes makes such a big difference. And if you're new to meditation, I highly recommend fully submerging yourself into it. So that means setting up a date. Um, I actually got this from, I think it the book, Think Like a Monk, but he said, if you're not feeling the effects of meditation, set up a date with yourself. So set the ambiance, light some candles, some incense, um, really set up a date with meditation and um, do it for longer. I would suggest doing like, um, if you're starting out 30 to 40 minutes, um, even an hour would be really beneficial. But once you start to feel the effects of it, you can start doing smaller sessions. So the five, 10 minute sessions, if you start doing it daily, will be way more effective if you fully submerge yourself in it. So that's what I had to do. I had to really set up a date for myself. And since then, I can meditate anywhere. I Anytime I get anxious, I start meditating and I instantly feel better. So meditation, if you guys haven't tried meditation, do it. So next thing is affirmations. So if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I post affirmations on my story daily. So if you don't follow me, I highly suggest you follow me there. But what I've done is I, writ I wrote out this little page um, of a little mantra that I say morning and night. So I just have it in my little meditation section and I'll read it out. So this resonates with me. You can change yours up, obviously. Um, create something that uh, works for you and resonates with you and then you can read it out whenever if you have it at the side of your bed table you can read it at night first thing in the morning and if you do these things first thing in the morning and the last thing at night it will really stick in your subconscious and it'll be more effective 
So with affirmations, I pretty much just talk to myself like I'm my, my biggest fan and I talk to myself in the present. So I'll just read off my mantra really quickly. So I say, I am worthy of love, happiness, good health, and success. I am safe and well taken care of. The universe is giving me everything I need. Good things flow easily to me. I return joy to the world and my loved ones. I have an amazing support system that gives me guidance and I set boundaries when needed. I'm a, I'm a positive influence on the world and make it my mission to give back any way I can, all is well. So these affirmations have helped me so much. Before I used to, anytime I like wanted to do something out of my comfort zone, I would kind of like laugh at myself and be like, you can't do this. And it was all in my head. So I started acknowledging those negative thoughts and turned them into positive thoughts it just like my life so many positive things started happening one thing after another so it really does work it really is magic because whatever you're putting into your brain is what's going to come out so if you're constantly telling yourself i'm not good enough i can't do this you're going to start to believe it because that's what you're putting in your mind so even if you don't believe what you're saying at the beginning just keep at it and eventually it will stick with you and you'll start to believe everything so I highly recommend doing these positive affirmations daily, if not weekly, if not daily, but they have helped so much. I'll meditate, do my affirmations, and then I'll go drink a cup of tea. I like to start my mornings off with some tea. Um, I used to drink coffee. I used to be a coffee addict, but I always got that crash with coffee, whereas green tea gives me a bunch of energy throughout the day and I don't have that crash. And green tea is so good for you. After I drink my tea, I do yoga and I work out. And I feel so amazing when I do yoga and work out. Yoga really helps to just stretch everything out. And I started doing yoga a year ago. I tried to tell everyone that I know to do it because it really is life-changing. Um, it's allowed me to be more present, be more focused on um, my body and just listen to my body better. Also helps me hold any workout poses longer. It helps me be more grounded. So highly recommend doing yoga. And then I also like to work out uh, one body, body part every day. So I'll start from my shoulders, my upper back, upper body. Then I'll do my abs another day and then glutes and legs the next day. And then Fridays are usually just like a whatever day. But I try to do yoga every day, even if it's if I'm not watching a video, I'll just um, wake, I'll just do it on my carpet, just do a few moves. Yoga and working out has, it's a part of my morning routine. It gives me so much energy throughout the day. And then when I do all these things, I'll have a smoothie. I make my golden milk smoothie that is loaded with nutrients. I put turmeric in it, black pepper, cinnamon, honey, um, mango and I think I'll put bananas and pineapple sometimes and it tastes so good and gives me so much energy throughout the day and then I do my work for the day and I have the most productive day when I set when I do my morning routine I get so much work done I feel so good throughout the day and yeah it's the I've ever been I've gone through a lot of I've gone through a lot of stuff in the past that has broken me down and I was at a really low point in my life if, even a couple years ago and I never thought I would be where I am today and it's all from just taking care of myself, taking care of my mind, body and soul and just healing all those um, wounds, those childhood wounds and so yeah and then I forgot to mention another part of my morning routine. I'll also spend like 15-20 minutes reading. Um, I'm currently reading Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. That one's a really good book but i have a lot of i've been really into self-help and like spirituality books so i've been reading a lot of those and that and that's another thing i actually enjoy reading now i hope this helps you guys and i hope you guys learned a little something and if you guys try any of these things that i told, talked about please let me know and let me know how they work for you because yeah i feel so good um in myself like right now not wearing any makeup and i feel amazing if I were to do this two years ago, I wouldn't be able to. I would never come on camera barefaced. And now I'm just like, I'm so comfortable with myself. I don't even care. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching if you guys stayed all the way through. But thank you guys for all the support, all the love that I constantly get. I It makes me feel so good. I love this community. <laughs>
that I built. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know any video suggestions you guys want to see from me in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.